God is good all the time. All the time. God is good and that is his nature. Wow. Wow. I'm also a witness. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm also a witness. Wow, wow, wow. Indeed. Thank you. Karibu sana. Asante sana. To ancient wisdom. Asante, asante. Yes, my name is Kihara. Yes. What is your name? My name is George Mageto. Okay. Yes. Karibu Mageto. Asante sana. Ah, uh, the, the other time we met, we discussed that I was inspired that you are a student with a business. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Asante sana. Yeah. Asante. You really inspired me. Ah, asante. What made you to start a business as a student? And yeah. And that this is ready. Thank you for that uh, nice question. Yes. Uh, sincerely speaking, uh, for a student to begin a business, yes. what forces him to do so is the needs that he has. Okay, the needs. Yeah, yeah the needs. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, you realize uh, you are coming from a humble background yes. and you just want to sustain yourself. Okay. So you have to think on doing something to sustain yourself. Okay. So that as you progress with your. Uh, with your studies, yes. you have something to bring to the table. Wow. Yeah. Now, let, let me ask you. Yes. Uh, can you tell another student to start a business? Yeah, of course. Um, I really love to encourage some other student to uh, start a business because uh, normally uh, when you come to the finishing line of the school, yes there comes a time you don't have anything to do but if you had started something formally like a business something which was bringing something as an income to you okay it will be something of benefit wow it, yeah in addition to yeah some of the things you will gain maybe the experience you gain you know a business is something which exposes you to know how to interact with people how to uh, to do something maybe from the litro that you have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind if you share wh what kind of business you do? Yes, I, I've done a, a lot of business because I just began with uh, uh, selling clothes. Okay. And uh, I did also selling some foodstuffs. Yes. But uh, because of the SHU, I, I decided to do some changes. Yes. Currently, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm having a shop. I'm doing a... Uh, Selling, I'm selling uh, electronics, okay. And on the same shop, I'm having an Mpesa, and I'm also having stationaries yes. together with other some other general goods. Wow, which I have been adding. Yeah, would you mind sharing the challenges that you face? Yes, uh, there are a lot of challenges, yes, uh, because first, uh, you understand I'm a student now, yes. It means now starting a business, you, you have to start small with the little you have and uh, as you want to grow also you get the challenge because there is no uh, enough uh, money to to grow yourself okay uh, however i've learned also a lot of things like as i progress in the business i have to look for assistance i have friends okay. whom i can borrow money from yeah, they some give me without interest but that money is small and it requires you to show off the potential. So major challenge is financial and together with other challenges like you have not learned how to, to interact with people, how to influence your customers to like your goods, yes. you know that's also a challenge. But okay. I know I'm, 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 I'm overcoming that challenge, yeah. Ah, that's that's yeah. great. Yeah. No, I would like to ask you. Yes. Since you have said that uh, one of the challenges is uh, money. Yes. Have we ever considered uh, building an emergency fund that can sustain your business, or uh, where do you think uh, you, you when you, you get those surplus? Yes. Where do you keep them? Yeah. Uh, for the last uh, few uh, say months, what I've been doing with the. Uh, any income I make as uh, in terms of profit or in terms of any income from any other source, what I do, I acquire an asset. Okay. I, I've been growing up my asset, but uh, of late I've been considering about, uh, I've been doing some savings because I also learned that you also have to get some, uh, some saving. And uh, recently I was introduced uh, by a friend to a very special group of SACO called uh, Kimisitu. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm planning actually as from as, as soon as, as possible I, I create a, an account with them so that I may be doing 
my savings okay. for my future plans yeah in ah. terms of business and investment yeah ah, that would be very great yes thank you so i know majority of people face challenges of stability in their cash yes have you ever considered the uh, government securities yeah 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 i've been uh, considering the treasury bonds and uh, i've been uh, focusing in digging deep on first establishing myself with some cash maybe so that in in with time i can be able to transpire to that side yeah okay yeah yeah because you are a business person yes what are the unique solutions that you have ever provided to your customer and they leave your shop happy yes actually uh, that's the most interesting thing and yes. that's what i like yes Wherever a customer comes to my shop, he has requested something which is not available. Yes. I will try by all means to acquire that thing for that customer. Yes. And uh, it has helped me because I have just realized that I'm, I'm building the loyalty of my customers. Okay. And as a result, they are willing to come more and more. So one thing I value is just that one customer yes. who I gain the loyalty. The loyalty. Yeah. Uh, now, because uh, I know you have a very busy schedule. Yes. How do you maintain a balance between your business yes. and your school? Yes. Because I know majority of the students they will say that they will not start a business. Yes. Because they they are not interested in the what comes with the with the yeah. with the road. Yes. Yes. Yeah, actually, that's a very nice question. I uh, just uh, want to mention something about. Uh, Time management is a very key factor. Yes. I don't do the business uh, alone. I have someone whom I've employed to do it for me. Okay. But I have to spend enough time there in my mm. business. Yes. Normally, how I say to myself, uh, in the morning, as uh, uh, before uh, 9 a.m., I must be in my business. I must see how it is running. Yes. And when I'm at a break, lunch break yes. i must go there and see how things are running and in the evening after 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 classes that's us from five i must go to my my business and see how things are running so i i i don't want one side to be affected i just learn that hard balancing between the two okay so it's something that someone can learn he do it when he's free and to be focused in his academics when he's Okay. Is, is, is in that time, yeah. Let me uh, let ask a question, maybe, although we are not mentioning anyone. Okay. Uh, in your business, have yes. you ever encountered any unworthy competition? Yeah, of course, sir. Yeah. Uh, there are competition in business, yes. and, and it is what makes uh, my business growing. Okay. Because uh, after I see a competitor, I have to to see on how I can make my business better. Okay. And in terms of how even I serve my customers. Yes. So there are competitors, of course, because I have also the cyber services, yeah. and there are competitors, there are other uh, business competitors. Yes. And that one does not make me fear from entering into that, into that business, because uh, even before I could start that business, yes. there were people with the related business. Okay. But as much as also I try to make my business be unique in a way, yes. something which is not uh, is not usual. Okay. So yeah, so I have uh, competitors, but I'm also trying to make my thing to be unique. In okay. A way. Yeah. Ah, that is very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, your ideas with us. Yes. And uh, it was worthy if a student or someone who is not having a lot of money. Yes. Just inspire them, tell, ask them. Yeah. Or I can ask you to look at the camera and tell them yeah. that they can make it also. Yeah, actually, uh, we can make it because I remember I just, uh, I just began my business with just 5,000 shillings. And this one I, was, I borrowed from someone. So, but I also, after now taking some time, I also feel like Somebody can begin the business with even just 300 shillings. Okay. My brother. Yes. So, uh, as much as the little as you can, you have, it can be something uh, very essential uh, for your business. So, we must learn first to begin with that little 
And as we begin with the little, we will appreciate when the great thing comes into our life. Then secondly, we must learn to live within our means to spare some cash at least for uh, our, our growth. So just begin with the little you have. You can, I believe you, you can link with other people like me and the rest maybe have started. You can find something you, you do which is able to sustain you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. If I want to buy your stationery yes. or someone interested, yeah. how can you, they locate your shop? How yes. can they reach you? Yes. How can you? I know you can also deliver to them. Yeah. How can you? How can they reach you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I first uh, would like to share the phone number because I believe when you are where you are within uh, the country, I you, I can be able to reach at you and provide you all the needs because I as I am expand, I am, I am expounding myself. I'm getting link even outside Nyeri to Nairobi and to the rest of the places. So my phone number is 0724-225552. My phone number is 0724-225552. And you can also get me at magetogeorge60 at gmail. Uh, dot com Magetto George 60 at gmail.com yeah for those also who are located in Nyeri you uh, you can get my business at uh, Bomas that is Kimadi Bomas yeah it is uh, next to the, the Catholic Church you it's called the GM business services so we welcome you there there are a lot of staffs there stationaries yeah, books and uh, electronics, electricals. We also have money services like M-Pesa. We also have uh, registrations of lines and the rest of the stuff. So welcome and thank you very much. Okay. Yes. I would like to maybe give our appointment on you one. Yeah. You save. Yeah, you save. You remember to invest. Remember to invest. Yeah. Then you change the society. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much for visiting us. Yes. We really appreciate. Yes. And uh, to end it, we want to Yes. Alafu, from there we can say yeah, that yeah, uh, sure, they sure. appreciate what we have done. Yeah, sure, sure. We tell them they subscribe. Yeah, you can subscribe. They like. Yeah. And, and you can share, share with their friends. friends. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Bye. God bless. Bye. God bless you people. Yeah. Thank you.